Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video about the Constellation series. So we are currently sitting in the Constellation Aquila or Aquila. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, I guess, hesitation on which what, what that's supposed to be called. So I'm, I'm guessing it's Aquila because every time I've seen that word, it's been Aquila. But I guess depending on where you're from, you can also say Aquila. So I'll say Aquila, but I'm open to the fact that it might be Aquila. So this series, this is the third video of a four part series where we're talking about the Constellation series. And I'm really doing this series because I think these ships are kind of being overlooked in the current meta, depending on who you ask, right? So some people really do appreciate these ships. Um, these are some older ships, which I think is part of the reason they get overlooked a few, a few times. But really, these are some really great ships. So I just wanted to walk through all of them here in 2024 just to kind of remind people how awesome these ships are and that these really could be in-game ships depending on, you know, who you are and what, what, you're, what you need them for. So we've reached the Aquila. So we've done the Taurus. That was our first video. Then we did the Andromeda, which was our second video. And now we're at the Aquila. So the Taurus is the cargo variant, 174 SCU, some decent guns on it, decent missiles on it, super defense. Then you have the Andromeda. So the Andromeda is more of the, the gunboat of, of all four of these, right? It has the same guns, actually, but it has those extra missiles. And it also has a P-52 Merlin. So it has, I think, like 24, somewhere between 24 and 28 extra missiles. So that's the one where if you just are looking for a fight, you take that one, right? Still carries 96 SCU. And again, it comes with that P-52 Merlin. So why would you get an uh, Aquila then? Well, the Aquila is the Explorer variant. So it has a different, if, you, if you're looking and you notice something different here, try not to disorient you with my head tracking here but if you notice it's a little bit easier to see out of this cockpit just a little bit easier okay and so the cockpit is a little different in the Aquila because this is the Explorer variant so we'll get out of the seat we'll walk the ship and then I'll show you overall what the ship looks like so you can just see the differences always we gotta pipe up on the haters <laughs> but yeah so you can see it's actually rounded in the front here rounded in the front which I actually think is the better design over the, the better design choice I think it just looks a little better the rounded you know if I got to deal with with having all these struts in the way um, I'd rather they be rounded but yeah, I do think they could remove the struts for, if they were going to remove the struts for any variant, it would make the most sense for the Aquila because it's the Explorer variant and you want to have those really cool, you know, scenery views, right? But I think part of the reason they don't do that is because of the Phoenix. So when we get to the Phoenix, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more. But pretty much everything else is the same. Yep. Still got the turret seat. We've been in this room before. Same old, same old here, right? You got your some storage, a seat, table. The table doesn't work right now. You got your bathroom here. Uh, I don't think I opened the bathroom the last one. You guys know what the bathrooms look like. You got your storage here. You got your weapon storage. So this is for your gear. Uh, well, your, your outfits and things. And then this is for your weapons. And yeah, then we got four beds here. So we come here again. It looks the same. If so, if you're following this series, you're like, wait a minute. Now this I do know is legitimately the same, right? Like you're looking at it like, why? What? Why is all of the interiors the same? So for the Taurus, this area down here is longer. And it doesn't have these, you know, little square blocks right here. 
as close, it's super far back. So 174 SEU, it can fit in the middle. The Andromeda can fit 96 SEU. This ship, the Aquila, can fit 96 SEU. So yes, they look the same. But one thing I'm gonna show you, well, let me walk you around. I, I do like to walk you around the whole ship, even though it does look the same, right? And this is part of the this is part of the issue with the with this series, right? Is they all kind of look the same. And you know, why should I get one over the other? Well, let's take a step back. And you can see we also have a P52 Merlin. So what's different? Well, this one has better radar because it's an explorer variant so it has better radars and you might say well you know it's 65 dollars more so why what am i doing what am i paying for better sensors well you could say that the better sensors are maybe ten dollars of what you're paying for and maybe the difference in the front there so that leaves 55 dollars to explain well this one comes with an ursa rover so that's what you're that's what you get so <clears throat> this is one of only two of the constellation series that actually comes with this merlin it comes with the merlin and it comes with an ursa rover to take with you so you can pop your ursa rover down here you can pop your ursa rover down here and which i think i think it takes up like half your cargo space so then you still have like 40 su of cargo that you can take with you uh, actually, it might take up a little bit more than that. I think it might take up actually 60 SEU of cargo space. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, somebody drop it in the comments how much space the Ursa rover takes when it's, when it's loaded up. But yeah, that's the main reason to get the Aquila. If you are more into exploration and this is going to be like your main exploration ship, then yeah, it can carry a little bit of cargo with you. You know, you got the exploration do in the the p52 merlin and it's got some decent guns on it it's tough again you, you, you really aren't going wrong with these uh these constellation series and what i'll do is i'll kind of tell you you know which ones are my favorite i'll, I'll kind of rank them i think at the end just to kind of give you an idea of like which ones i think you should purchase and why so i'll save that for the final video which is the phoenix video that one's going to be the next one so this is part three of four if you if you've been watching so again i started with the taurus then i did the andromeda now i'm at the aquila so let's take a look at the outside of this thing so if you've been following you can see this one is a little it's it's weird because it's i think the first one is like a dark gray i think the taurus is like a dark gray i think the constellation or the andromeda is like a silver and then i think this one is like a light gray or it could be the same gray as the andromeda i can't really tell but it has orange accents and that's kind of how you tell the difference so i'm a little colorblind so tell me if that's not orange <laughs> But yeah, so this one has orange accents and that's kind of how you tell the difference. And yeah, so this is the thing that's different. You can see how it's rounded in the front. Which I honestly, I like the rounded more than the square. It just, I don't know, it seems a little bit more, I don't know which one is more aerodynamic. Maybe I would, I would assume the round is more aerodynamic, but I think it's actually a, a really cool thing to differentiate it. So it's got the different front and then of course it's got the orange. So let's do a little pan around just so you can kind of see all the angles of this wonderful thing. And then I'll turn it a little bit and so you can see it. I know the sun glare is a little crazy. underneath there 
which I think is really cool. I think, I'm trying to think, I don't think there's any other ship series where it comes with the other ship just attached to it like that, which I think is pretty cool. I think when we we think of Star Citizen, I, I I just I legitimately think this is what we should think when we think Star Citizen. We should think the Andromeda, the Aquila, and the Taurus. I think that's the when we think of like what we want our different roles to be. I think this was the beginning of all of that. So I think it's really cool. And I don't want these ships to go unnoticed just because some new hotness has hit the streets, you know. So call this my little love letter to the Constellation series because I think they are, even though I think a few people in the community respect them, I still think they need some love. Like, the they got excellent hull HP. They can hold their own in a fight, pretty much any fight, because they have great hull HP and they have these amazing guns on them. I mean, they, they have on the sides, they have the ability to dock, cargo on the bottom, they come with an extra ship. This one comes with an Ursa Rover. Yeah, I just think they're they're underrated ships. So, I also think I'm not 100% sure, but I think this the 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 Aquila version it might have like a scanner extra scanner thing and it has a, I know it has a better scanner package than the rest of them, but um, I'm not sure if uh, the turret had something extra in there as well. So, somebody let let us know down in the comments if if that's it. I might I might just drop the comment down there if I find something, but yeah. This isn't a full review, so I'm trying not to just go on and review them. But I think you can, <clears throat> I think you can kind of tell what my scores are going to be for these, um, you know. But yeah, so much respect for the Constellation series. I I I have to say in every video, I I started out kind of being a hater of the Constellation series. So yeah, I think I kind of owed them their just due. So yeah. That is the Constellation Aquila. Constellation Aquila. <laughs> However you want to say it. But yeah, that's, that's that one. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for spending your time with us. Peace. Stay tuned for part four. <laughs>